Now, Dennis Daly presents another in his new series of Nightcast Broadcasts. Hi, and thanks again, everybody. Something happened on this date in 1783 that got lost when I was taught history. Even though the Treaty of Paris had ended the Revolutionary War and had been signed earlier in the year, it was on this date that the final British troops left New York City, months later. During the war, New York City had been a center of opposition to independence. A tremendous number of British sympathizers called Tories lived there. About a third of everyone living in what would become the United States really wanted to stay British. It was natural then that King George thought New York City would be a sensible place to put British troops. It had begun in the first days of the Revolutionary War. 32,000 soldiers, 31 ships, 170 transports had arrived in New York and had defeated Washington at Kipps Bay. The British occupied New York City for seven years. During much of that time, they had it under martial law. But finally, on this date in 1783, the last redcoat left, along with 60,000 people who did not want to be part of the new nation. That's Nightcast. I'm Dennis Daly. Listen to Nightcast with Dennis Daly, Monday through Friday evenings at this time. This is the Shrevikman Radio Network. Shrevikman programs are distributed by Ursat Satellite. Thank <laughs> you.